Hello everybody, it's Gary Stuckey with Journey News. If you haven't already, go back and watch my last video. Watch the last few videos. I know a lot of people haven't uh, been watching, you know, some more than others, let's just say. Uh, and they've skipped one or two, it seems like. Uh, maybe they're not as interested because of the title. But believe me, you're missing out if you don't go watch all the videos in a sequence. Because there's a lot of stuff going on uh, last... Uh, week or so seems like every day there's something new uh you know i'm the number one journey fan steve perry fan hoping steve will come join the 50th anniversary for just a song or two i don't know about all that but what i do know right now is that in the band of journey after i've posted this now if you'll go back and and, and look at all the videos i took down a video and there's a certain uh, publicity company called Tag, and they posted on Twitter about a couple of members of Journey, and they named them and said that these two guys did not want Greg Riley to be back in the band, back on stage, playing with Journey for this tour. So I did a video about it. And when I did, I got thrown under the bus and people talked about me and, uh, you know, I don't know. There's a lot of things happened and, uh, I have to tell you about all that later, but, and then tag, uh, they blocked me. So I couldn't see anymore. They blocked me. Uh, so check out my last video about that. Uh, but that's, uh, that's Neil's, uh, publicity, uh, company. I don't understand all that, but. You know, just when I was calming down, just when I thought that everything was going to be okay, you know, John Kane announced that he's going to be on tour coming up in a couple of weeks with the band. So, you know, like everything was getting back to normal, you know, some of uh, Arnell's people kind of uh, posted some things and, you know, and I don't, let me just say this. I love everybody in the band. I'm not talking about anybody. I'm the guy that doesn't start the drama. There's other channels that love to talk about certain people and, and separate people and, you know, have opinions that are kind of negative. I don't know. I try not to do that. Um, so I'm not going to call any names. Um, but today, uh, Neil Sean's wife, Mikhail, she posted on social media. I believe it was on uh, Instagram and Facebook. Um, and she confirmed it. She confirmed what, uh, tag had posted. Now she didn't say who these two members were, but she confirmed that two members of journey did not want Greg Riley back in the band. And we'll take a look at it right here. And this is what she posted. Uh, life is precious. Jeff Beck has shown us that along with so many who are in heaven, now we see how very precious time is. We look forward to seeing everyone soon on tour. Neil Sean and Journey 50th Anniversary Freedom Tour of a Lifetime Tour 50. Two of the Journey current band members are adamant against Greg Riley to return. Life is so precious, Neil and Greg agree. Who wants to have that feeling? Truly sad. Uh, music is for inspiration and joy. Everyone loves you, Greg Riley, and respects who you are. And all you have been an art to journey for without you picking up Neil Sean from school. You know, that whole story. That, that's a cool story, by the way. Uh, um, Greg even said he'd pick me up from school <laughs> one day. That's cool. I don't go to school anymore. I'm just saying. But uh, there you go. I'm not going to name names. I'm not going to say it's the ones that <laughs> have been mentioned before. I'm not going to say anything negative toward the guys at all. I don't know the whole story. See, that that's the thing. You know, I like to do investigating and, and uncover a lot of things. I love the history of Journey. I love everything about uh, the members. I try to keep it positive. But I like to find out exactly what's going on if I can. You know, but some people will say, it's none of your business, blah, blah, blah. Well, if it's posted on social media, it, it becomes everybody's business because that it's just, you know, facts. That's just facts that are, uh, have to do with the band and the circumstances and everything like that. So 
when uh, Neil Sean's wife posts that two members aren't, you know, wanting a Greg back in the band, that, that's a big deal. My thing is, I'm wondering, you know, when I when I posted that about tag, you know, I posted this three or four days ago about this information. This is not new information. I'm just wondering why nobody else in the media is covering this. Why am I the only guy? <laughs> you know, it's like I'm the one that, that came out and said, hey, what's going on here? And I investigated and found out some stuff, and it seemed like I was the bad guy. But, hey, it's been confirmed. This is confirmation that two guys in the band don't want Greg. Now, I want Greg in there. I'm a big fan of Greg. I, I really like Greg. I've talked to him uh, through correspondence, uh, through social media and everything. And a uh, really cool guy, really nice guy. I love his wife, too. He's got a new band with his son called New Soul. I mean, it's just a lot of cool stuff about Greg. And, he, you know, been inducted into the Hall of Fame, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice. Uh, he's been jamming with Ringo, right? Can you let the guy play in the band, please? Uh, let Greg play. Surely you can work it out. And see, that's what boggles my mind. These two guys that don't want him in, not saying who they are, not saying I know 100%. I do know who the two were they, that they said they were. Or I don't know if they're the same ones. I don't want to say I don't want these guys hurt at me because I like all these guys, and I'd like the story to come out and let them say the reason you know i don't want to speculate and say what i think i just want them to have their chance to say this is the reason why i don't want him uh in the band everybody can weigh it out they can judge it for themselves and kind of look at it and see you know but as a journey fan if you are a journey fan from back in the day uh and like me i never got a chance to see greg or steve for that matter uh, perform with Journey. So how cool would it be for Greg to come back, for Steve to come back? Hey, bring them all back. But how could you stop Greg Raleigh from coming back to Journey, setting up something awesome? It just wouldn't make sense. The co-founder of Journey, he was with Neil and Santana. Had some great songs he sang alongside of Steve Perry. I just don't understand uh, the reason why that wouldn't uh, happen. But, you know, but like Mikhail said, you know, Neil's wife, uh, at some point he's going to play, that, you know, somewhere, you know, and I don't know how they're going to work that in. I don't know what kind of proceedings are going to happen if there's any kind of court proceedings going to happen for that any kind of fights and skirmishes going to happen because of that how do they decide you know what do they do do they boycott i mean i don't know why don't know why they would want that they would you know not want greg in the band don't know what they would do to stop it from happening um i do know this it's it's big for journey i know this news should be on national TV. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know why I'm the only one so far. Maybe they'll take it and run. They'll take this video and run with it. Say, so, hey. But uh, it needs to be out there that they're they're trying to stop uh, Greg from playing with the band. And if Greg doesn't play, that, that possibly stops some other things from happening. And uh, don't you want to see everybody back to play and, and i don't know I, I just wish everybody would work it out i'm a fan of all the guys past and present don't like to take sides a lot of people take sides you know they're either for this guy this guy sometimes they make it political they because he's for this i'm gonna like him i don't care if it's political i don't care what it's about i love all the guys in the band i'm hoping that they can work it out and this will be the best tour ever and some dreams will come true and it'd be something to talk about forever that's my hope but we'll know hey as, as each day goes by there's something new and i'm sure we'll find out more as the news breaks 
Until next time, everybody, this is Gary Stuckey saying don't stop believing. God bless you.